What is going on YouTube? So today I'm gonna go over my newest purchase. Um, I recently just sold my 2009 Shelby GT500 and I went two weeks without a car and it was just bugging me. So I went out and grabbed a V2. Uh, I miss my Shelby, I really do. I love that car, but I don't know. Something about the V2s are just more practical. I like having a sedan. And you know, I've had experience with V2s already since I own a black one. And when I was in the market, I was wanting to buy another black one, but I seen this red and I just had to have it. So uh, me and a couple buddies actually just got down lower in the car. We put the uh, Ibach coupe springs on it. My black car had the same setup on it. And uh, I'm waiting for these to settle because my black car sat lower than this one, especially in the front. And the coupe springs were supposed to sit lower anyway. So, I mean, it definitely looks a lot better than it did because it was like a monster truck. The factory stance on these cars are pretty bad, but uh, it looks a lot better now. I wanted to lower it before I took this video just because it makes it look so much better. But uh, that's the only thing I've done to it so far. Uh, the previous owner put the black moon splitters on it. He had the wheels. I don't know if he powder coated them or bought them but they are uh, black chrome and they look really good they're uh you know just the factory style wheel i think the 19s uh it's kind of like my last car it's just a bolt-on car nothing crazy it's got the uh weapon x track attack heat exchanger the weapon x expansion tank the lingen filter 255 upper pulley and the solid oscillator it's got a reinforced brick it's actually got a uh a replaced supercharger, the warranty replacement, uh, factory LSA lid. I'm thinking of maybe getting a uh, Z01 lid just because I like the way they look. But uh, that's basically it. Oh, it's long tube headers. It's got the stainless works headers on it. Uh, three inch all the way back. It's got high flow cats, X pop, factory mufflers, but. You can open up the uh, electronic QTP cutouts that I will show you guys here in a second. And pretty much straight pop it. Makes it extremely loud. Uh, one thing I do like about this car versus my black one is this car has black interior. This is a non-Recaro car. As you can see, it's just got the regular ctsv seats in it it's got a panoramic sunroof and he had just minor things done to it he had the uh, mirrors and the roof wrapped black the grill actually i just got done uh, repainting it it had some rock chips it's just plastic dip so i redone that um but basically this is a super straight car no dents or dings i'm really happy with it i don't know if it was like user error but my last car would creak and squeak over every single bump with the ibox springs and uh when we installed this uh these springs on this car i removed the factory bump stops and just cut them in half and removed the dust shields and this little black like a bottom oscillator, I guess, off the strut assembly. I took those off and put everything back together in this car. Rides just like it did before. It makes absolutely no sounds at all because I was kind of discouraged whenever I was putting the springs on it because I, you really don't want a Cadillac to creak and pop and make all kinds of weird sounds when you're driving it. But I'm guessing whoever installed the uh, previous springs on my last car done something wrong but the method that we used, like I said earlier, worked perfectly. I mean, this car doesn't make any weird sounds or anything. And again, I'm just hoping once it settles, it'll sit a little bit lower, especially in the front. The back looks pretty good, but I just want that front to tuck in a little bit more. But yeah, uh, I'll show you guys the back seats. This car's pretty clean all the way around. You know, he's got the chrome delete on the, uh, the window trim, and that looks really good. He actually just replaced the uh, 
magnetic rod suspension, the struts, so those are brand new. He put brand new pads and rotors on it, so you know, that's always a plus. The market for these cars are insane right now. I didn't even find this one on Marketplace. I just seen some guy comment on a uh, CTSV forum, and I just kind of shot him an offer, and he accepted it. The car was from Indiana, so it was like a 14-hour uh, round trip to go pick it up, but I think it was worth it, especially for what I gave for it. Way under market value right now. Again, it's a clean title car, so... I think it's a win-win all the way around. Can't wait to make more videos with it. And I just enjoy being in another V. The only thing is, I mean, this one is an automatic. The six-speed cars right now are just insane. The whole market alone right now is insane. And you're just going to have to expect a $10,000 premium over an automatic car with the, uh, the TR6060 manual transmission Vs. And, of course, I'm a sedan fan. I don't like the coupes, I don't like the wagons, even though they have a huge following. The sedan, I think, is just, I don't know, the best looking. And if I had a second pick, it would be the coupe over the wagon, but I don't know, you really can't beat the looks of a uh, sedan. The only thing I'd like to do to this car eventually, like later down the road, is maybe get the uh, Weapon X duckbill. I just feel like these cars, the rear end of them, look too much like a regular CTS. And it bugs me. So I think just putting a little duck bill on this would really help it out. I mean, this is about as aggressive as you can make the rent on these cars. It's just by blacking out the tail lights. But, I mean, the CTS, the base ones look just like this in the rear. The uh, splitters help it a lot. But, yeah, I think a duck bill would really make it stand out. The carbon fiber ones. You know, of course, the front end of these cars, you can definitely tell it's a V versus a CTS. Just a little walk around. You can tell it's a pretty straight car. I love the color. It's weird going from a blue car to a red car and a coupe to a sedan. It's weird bouncing back and forth from a mod motor to LS engines. It's usually it's die hard fanboys on each side and you know I'll jump in a Cadillac then jump in a Mustang, jump in a Cadillac back and forth, back and forth, who knows I might have another Mustang after this car. It rides good, it sounds good, especially with the cutouts open. I might get the windshield tinted like I done in my Shelby, it looked really good. I'm ashamed of the engine bay right now because this car has been repainted and there's a lot of dust from like the primer sanding in the engine bay right now and he doesn't have any of the factory engine cover plastics so I'm actually looking for a set right now and then I'm going to detail the engine bay and clean up the plastics and snap it on there just to make the engine bay look pretty because it's not really presentable right now but once I get those plastics I'll clean it up and have a pretty solid car all the way around and who knows I'm not posted up for sale but yeah I just figured I'd update you guys that I'm back in another V right now so uh Thanks for watching and stay tuned.